Hello internet world and welcome to a new video on the Geek Noise channel. In today's video I'm bringing you a really awesome pair of speakers. These are the Audio Engine A6 wireless speakers or wired, you can hardwire them as well. They come in a, a range of three different colours. You can get them in like a black finish, a cherry red finish and also this brown walnut finish which happens to be my favourite of the three and they are beasts of speakers they wow they have left me uh, almost speechless because uh, the, the audio that these produce is phenomenal it really is that good now before i show you the speakers themselves and run through all of the features i want to let you know what else you get inside the box apart from the gorgeous speakers themselves so you get this uh, little piece of uh, product literature this details some of the other products in the line, including the subwoofer that they make. Uh, this is well worth taking a look at if you're uh, uh, receiving some of these, because I think once you've heard these, you'll probably buy more speakers from their range. You also get um, a quick start guide. Note on the quick start guide, it does say premium powered speakers, and they really are premium. Uh, you also get this uh, remote control. It's got a, a mute feature, a nighttime feature, and a volume up and down. And if I show you this, this is one of the coolest, most uh, gorgeous little remote controls I've seen. It's uh, made of a machine block of aluminium, and it is so, so nice. It's so tactile. It's got this like brushed finish to it. Uh, okay, the buttons are these little sort of dimple type buttons that I'm not a big fan of, but the actual remote as a whole is very very nice and it does just what you need it to do nothing more nothing less we also get these pouches you get two of these in total one two uh, this is the same material it's like a cloth dust bag uh, this is the same material that these come wrapped in so these come wrapped in like a polystyrene wrap and then one dust bag per speaker as well so they really do ensure that you're going to receive these in tip-top condition now inside each of these, I want to show you the contents. So inside this one, we get the audio cables, if I can get these out. So you get these audio cables in one of the dust bags. These are two phono to two phono, so like, like an RCA stereo pair of uh, cables there. We also get, in this one here, we get the speaker cables for connecting the speakers together. So these are stereo pair of speaker cables, nice heavy gauge, and they've got these banana plugs on each end. So really rock solid uh, connectivity options when it comes to, or con connectivity quality, just drop that one, quality when it comes to the actual cables themselves. And then inside this dust bag here, we get the power cable, so this is a figure eight on this end and because I'm in the UK three pin UK plug and then on this one here we get a three and a half millimeter to three and a half millimeter audio cable again very high quality high gauge cables uh, that goes for all of them including of course the uh, phono plugs and the uh, banana plug terminated speaker cables so really good range of cables to get you up and running so don't forget these are wireless speakers as well so they're bluetooth with aptex technology built in so you can run them wired or wireless so that is very important factor now before i show you the actual speakers themselves this one in particular that houses the amplifier is extremely heavy so bear with me while I pick it up. Before we do that, let's take a look over at some of the main features and specifications. So this is the Audio Engine website. You'll find a link to this down in the video description. So if you want to check this out for yourself, you can follow that link to this page. And this is the main features. So we've got built-in analog class A to B monoblock power amplifiers in here. We've also got dual audio inputs and a full range variable output. High fidelity Bluetooth with Aptex technology, that's what I mentioned a short while ago. On one of the speakers, we've also got a 24 bit digital optical SPDIF input. On the front, so the actual drivers are 5.5 inch Kevlar woofers and 1 inch silk tweeters. They're hand built cabinets, 
very very high grade cabinets on these uh, and a really nice finish to them as well there's also detachable speaker grills on these as well and threaded inserts on the bottom so as well as like these uh, rubberized foam pads on the bottom if you're sitting them on a desk you can also thread them onto speaker stands if you so wish uh, passive crossovers with upgraded components and solid, a solid al aluminium remote control which I showed you a short while ago and these are the names of the finish options further down this page satin black cherry wood veneer or the walnut wood veneer that I've got here and they're made of MDF uh, cabinets as well 20 millimeter thick MDF cabinets so that's pretty much it on the uh, uh, features uh, with regards to tech specs let's just uh, run on over to the tech specs page if this is working there we go here's the tech specs so here this gives you a look at the rear of the speakers a little bit clearer than maybe I'm going to not going to be able to hold these up for too long because they're so so heavy we've got an antenna on the back pair button audio input optical audio input as well also the RCA phono inputs the speaker connectors that which run from one speaker to the other one is passive the other one's powered power switch uh, voltage select the fuse and the power inlet and then the actual uh, power output is 150 peak power output uh, per total uh, it's 50 watt RMS or 75 watt peak per channel so really very very high specification speaker so anyway let's come back to actually having a look at the speakers themselves I'm going to attempt to pick this one up and they do weigh a lot uh, here we go I want to give you a look at the back of this one so this is where all of the connectivity happens very very well specified and then you can see that heat sink on the back of this powered one as well I'm going to put that down uh, this is also the little antenna just here and then we've got all of the various inputs and outputs that I just showed you on that diagram this is just to aid with cooling the internal amplifier and then if I turn this round you'll see this one I left the uh, the actual uh, magnetic cloth grill in place so this is just held on by magnets as you can see there and then back into place very easily there's no like little pegs to reattach it. it's the magnets that locate it and bring it back into uh, where it's meant to be and then this one I've actually taken the grill off let me see if I can bring this one over for you to have a look at this one's a little bit lighter because it hasn't got the amplifier in so on the second speaker this is the passive one we've just got the terminals for the speaker cable and then we've got that one inch tweeter and then we've also got the 5.5 inch uh, uh, woofer as well on there very very good little bit of porting on the back but really nice quality speakers very very nice indeed I also forgot to mention that on the front of this speaker we've also got the main rotary volume control on the powered one and both of them have got this silver band across the bottom which makes them uh, you know look really nice nice sort of finishing touch there but the actual quality of the cabinet it's 20 millimeters thick uh, really nice walnut uh, veneered finish on here as well I have seen the black ones in person they look really nice it's like a silk black color haven't seen the cherry wood version myself not not in I oh, only photos haven't seen it personally but these are, just look really stunning really do look uh, very very nice on the desk as you know I've got a bamboo desk here in the editing room uh, but on any color desk these would look very very nice uh, do take into account they are heavy the footprints not too big for the power that they output uh, but you know it is quite a large footprint so you there are other models in the range if you need something a bit smaller so anyway before I come on to the actual audio quality this is a live broadcast so if you have tuned in live thank you very very much for tuning in live I want to say a big thank you to Sumyu Nath Ragulan Sharma, Dave's Physical Media, Stephen Ali and Antoni uh, Paolacci. Thank you very much to the first uh, first ones of you who are in the live chat. I really do appreciate it. But I appreciate all of you that tune in. I just normally give a shout out to the first four or five. Um, if you have got any questions or comments uh, that you haven't put in the live chat, that you want to pop them in the actual comment section below, if you're watching after the live broadcast then you can do that as well and also if you enjoy my videos don't forget to subscribe because I publish a new tech video pretty much every single day sometimes I do multiple videos so you're in for a real treat on those days but anyway back to the actual audio quality 
on these HD6 audio engine speakers. And wow, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, almost speechless. The actual power that these deliver and the air that they move. Uh, if you've experienced really high quality speakers yourself, you'll know that there's this um, sort of air, air movement and, and an, an ease that comes across in the audio. When you're driving a speaker to its full capacity, if it's sort of underpowered, then you can, you can sort of hear it straining in the audio. These deliver really high volumes with a large amount of detail with ease and they move a lot of air as well. Uh, they just sound so effortless in the way they deliver the, their music. And the tonality is really ni nice. It's un uncolored. It's like very natural sounding. In the lower frequencies, it just delivers so much. Uh, that's what's left me speechless because it is so, so impressive. Uh, in the mid-range, it's really nice and detailed as well without any sort of added warmth or colorization to the audio. And then these little tweeters for the, the, the higher frequencies, again, such intricate pieces of audio I'm hearing in soundtracks in comparison to other speakers that I use. Now, I'm not going to name any names, but you, you'd have seen in my videos, there's one just behind me here, my desktop monitors that I use for monitoring the audio whilst I'm editing video. I would say these were probably twice as good as those. They are absolutely fantastic, and I can highly recommend them. If you want to pick up a really decent sounding pair of speakers that have the flexibility of both a wired and wireless connection, and when it comes to that wired connection, you've got multiple input options as well. Built in a cabinet that is of such high quality and integrity that the audio delivered is just top notch. It really is fantastic. Then I can highly recommend these. I've left a link down below in the video description to both where you can pick these up for yourself and also to the Audio Engine website. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day. I will be covering the Apple uh, Worldwide Developers Conference for 2018 after the announcements in another video later on on the Geek and Noise channel. So do check that out. Thank you very much again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and I'll see you all in the next one.